So this is a ginger gold tree. Ginger gold are highly susceptible to fire blight. We're looking at a, a canker here at the bottom of the tree and, and a canker that's oozing. And this is the real nightmare for growers is oozing cankers at bloom because the ooze contains bacterial cells and sugars and flies are attracted to that sugar. They'll land on the ooze, they'll pick up the bacteria and they'll, they'll go land on a flower and that gets the pathogen in the flowers and, and starting to grow and potentially cause more fire blight. What happened here was last year we had a shoot blight strike and we did what we're supposed to do. We, we pruned it uh, about 18 inches to two feet ahead of the symptoms but in ginger gold the pathogen moves so quickly even though we pruned it there where we didn't see symptoms at the time the bacteria was already ahead of us and it, it got in there and it got into the main trunk of the tree. If this was in a commercial orchard we'd have to take this tree out because that's that's just uh, you can't deal with that that kind of ooze and if we look further up this tree we've got another shoot where we've got the same situation we've got a uh, we, we pruned but we we ended up with another canker here and, and that's just because ginger gold is just so highly susceptible to blight we see that a lot you can get strikes and then the bacteria just move very quickly uh, into the main trunk of the tree so it's it's really a difficult one to to keep ahead of